this video we're going to take a look at um, doing headers and footers in Word. Uh, first of all, let's uh, go to the top of our document here. And um, a couple of ways to do it. One way is if you want to put a header in, just go up here in this um, border area here, a margin area, and uh, double click. And um, it'll automatically bring up the header and footer tools. Uh, the rest of your document gets kind of grayed out and you the cursor moves up here and this is where you can uh, put anything you want for your header and your footer. Your header and footer will appear on every page in the section. If your document's only one section long then they'll appear on every page. And it has a couple of predefined tab stops here. There's a center tab uh, that is usually right smack in the middle and right over here on the right margin marker um, you can see there's on top of it there's a little right tab marker as well so you can left align things by typing them here you can um, center things by hitting the tab character and sliding over to the center or you can right align things so basically it's dividing your header up into three different parts um, let's close the header and footer here and another way to do that is to go to uh, your insert tab here and choose header or footer and we'll choose header and when you do you get several options um, we'll take a look I don't know if you need any fancy ones you can probably just get by with the first one most of the time um, the first one and the second one are basically the same uh, they both have let's take a look at this one uh, they both have uh, tab stops on the center and a, a right tab stop on the right and the difference is they have type here they have these little placeholders here and uh, obviously you need to go in and either replace them or delete them if you don't want something in that location so actually the one that I would prefer doing would be let's go back here and try this again let's go to header and let's just do this one and there he just puts one thing in um, and then you can hit the delete key if you want to delete it and uh, just type in whatever you want. Uh, there's also an option here that lets you go back and forth between the header and the footer. So this takes me down to the footer and you see the tab stops are in the same spot. A center tab here at three and a quarter and a right tab stop over here at six and a half. And let's go back up to the header. And you always get these header and footer tools and the rest of your document gets grayed out. There's two ways to get back to the rest of your document. You can either just double click in it or you can click the close header and footer button up here. Now you can put anything in the header and footer that you want to put in. Uh, let's go back up here and we'll double click. Uh, so any text you put in here is going to be on the top of every page that gets printed. So you might put like title information or if you're doing a term paper you might want to put the course number or the course name or your name or something like that. Um, so any text you put up here will be duplicated on every page at the top. Uh, there are a couple of things uh, that you might want to put in that are prepared for you here on the uh, design tab here for the header and footer. And uh, one of them is page numbers. Um, and I'm going to put my page numbers down at the bottom. So let's go down to go to footer. And I want them in the center of the page. So I'm going to hit the tab key to slide over to the center tab right here. And then I want page numbers. And there's a little button here for page numbers. And you can click on the down arrow. And, uh, you know, it gives you these choices here. Um, I almost always go to where I want to put it first, and then I just choose current position here. And you get a couple of different choices. Uh, plain numbers, what I usually choose, but you can also do these little things they call accent bars, uh, which has the word page and a bar. And we'll just try this one right here. So if you go down here and you click, um, you know, if you drag your mouse over this stuff, uh, this is stuff that has been inserted by Word. And if I go down and look at the next page, it'll say page two. And if I go on the next page, it'll say page three. And it'll automatically renumber the pages for me if I make any changes. So um, that's how you can insert page numbers. Now let's go down here to the footer. And um, sometimes um, you may want to know how many pages there are in a document and so you may want to put the word of and let's go back here and let's make that so it's not bold anymore and then we will put the number of pages 
and uh, you might think that that's over here but actually it's over here on quick parts and it is a field and it is the field called num pages and you can format it any way you want to and we will just uh, not do any formatting here and so it's page 1 of 49 now that does look a little funny because this is bold and this is not so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the number here and I'm going to make it so it's uh, not bold anymore by doing a control B another common thing you might want to put into a uh, header or footer let's go back up to the top here and that's kind of a slow way to do it I guess I could have just clicked on go to header up here uh, you might want to put the date that it was printed and you can go here and click on date and time and you got a bunch of choices here so you can pick whatever you want to I just usually go with the default one here and uh, there's one checkbox here uh, that you need to know about uh, if you turn that off it'll just put the current date in and it will stay there just as if you had typed the date in uh, and it'll always be the same so if I type in today's date which is July 30th 2013 then it will be July 30th 2013 uh, forever but if I turn this on and then click on OK. Uh, it'll put in today's date and you notice how uh, this is a little field now uh, you know there's a box around it the whole thing turns gray when you click on it and uh, there's an update option here and uh, so this is basically tied to the system clock and calendar on your computer and uh, if I open this document tomorrow it will have 731 2013 on there so uh, if you want to know when the document was created uh, you should probably turn the checkbox off and then this date will remain the same but if what you want to know is you know for example you're going to print this and you want to know when the hard copy was created uh, this would be what to put in and every time you print it it'll have the current date on it so those are the two most common things I think you would put into a header and footer uh, page numbers uh, date and time uh, if you are interested in what some other options are that you can put into the header or footer or actually any place in your document if you want to, um, there's uh, a bunch of document properties here. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, fields. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff here, um, which I think most people are probably never going to use. Uh, but there, you can check these out if you want to see what the other possibilities are. Let's cancel that. And then you can put any other text up here that you want to as well. So, you know, if you want to put um, the name of your document or you want to put your name up here, um, put your professor's name up there, uh, whatever you want. And it will appear on every page of your document.